It's your money, and a new survey finds many couples are being unfaithful when it comes to money. Some are committing financial infidelity. CBS 4's Danya Baca shows you how. Stefan and Christina Cheney were married for a couple of years before they sat down and talked seriously about finances. I am spending how much on coffee? And you're spending how much on lunch? They decided to make monthly budgets, but sometimes there's a little cheating. When you hear the term financial infidelity, what do you think of that term? I love that term. Yeah. When I see a transaction in the account and we both have agreed on certain budgets, right? And I see something that has exceeded that, I'm like, this woman has betrayed me, right? In a new survey from creditcards.com, 40% of Americans admit committing financial infidelity. The most common offense is spending more money than their partner would be okay with. Others have secret credit cards or secret bank accounts. The most common reason people gave us was that they want privacy. They want to manage their own money. Ted Rossman from CreditCards.com says millennials are the most likely to commit financial infidelity, and it can often lead to a sense of betrayal. You think, hey, I really thought I knew this person, and they've been keeping the secret for so long, and chances are they're going to find out about it at some point. So I think communicating early and often is a good idea. The Cheneys say it's important to be open about spending. It's about just mutual respect and agreement and accountability being on the same page and that's kept their marriage on the same page too. Danya back is CBS News, Los Angeles.